20 Reasons You. Hello friends, welcome. It's another episode of Answers with Stewart Godwin Johnson. And in this series, I'm going to be talking about 20 reasons why she won't marry you. The Valentine season is very close by and I want you to follow me through with this love series. It's going to take a while. Today, I'm going to be starting all of these discussion based on the encounter of Abraham's servant in search for a wife for Isaac. All the revelations that I'm going to share with you is going to be contained from that experience. And so if you want to follow through, get your Bibles and begin to read from Genesis chapter 24 from verse 1 to 67. But in this first episode, I will be dealing with the first sex of points why she won't marry you have you made proposals or made advancement and it seems that she's not responding now this is the series that would tend to answer those questions the first thing that i want to share here is respect ensure that before you go into relationship that you really deserve respect if you are not building yourself and making yourself deserve respect you're most likely not going to get it you have got to get up and win that respect for yourself you don't command respect you're going to have to deserve it respect is one of the things that you can get from somebody in a relationship without force and without violence if you need to force it it's not real if you need to use violence to get respect in a relationship it's not real i will read the 58th verse of the book of genesis chapter 24 very quickly and they called rebecca and said unto her will you go with this man so the first thing i'm sharing here is respect respect everybody wants to be respected in a relationship and so you must be ready to give respect to that person. If you're going to be in a relationship with a lady, try to give some level of respect to the person. Here is what the Bible says. They called unto Rebekah and said, Will you go with this man? And she said, I will go. You see, the point is that the family of Rebekah and this man valued the opinion of of Rebecca. They simply didn't say to Rebecca, we are coming to marry you, therefore you must come with us. And neither did the brother nor the father say to Rebecca, you have no choice, you've got to go with this man because we love him. There was respect. They had to seek the opinion of Rebecca. As much as you want to win the respect from other people, you need to show them respect in relationship. Nobody will want to get into a relationship with you when they perceive that they are going to come into that relationship to be tortured and to suffer you must understand that if violence is a part of your relationship then you're most likely not going to easily have a successful relationship you must build a relationship based on true love show respect to the other person everybody's opinion matters you might have the overall high ranking position in the relationship you might have the power to overrule but you must also embrace the various ability and right of everyone in the relationship to have an opinion just like you do and so when you are in that relationship don't think that somebody else Else doesn't matter treat everybody with a degree of respect and you attract that same respect to yourself when people find themselves in a relationship where they are respected it is easy for them to grow it is easy for them to function this is the first thing that you should be watching out for in a relationship and this is the first thing that you must ensure is in your relationship with anybody respect that person respect the opinion of people value the opinion of people let them have a place let them have relevance if you do not do this you're going to definitely miss out some of the reasons why most people have got a big no when they make a marriage proposal is because the people they are proposing to are afraid that they're going to be denigrated they're going to be humiliated in that relationship they're going to go into that relationship to be shamed when you show respect to somebody the person is going to stick with you more when people find themselves having value having a sense of worth around you they will hang around you the more don't expect somebody to spend the rest of his life around you when they feel worthless when they sit with you and talk with you and so they asked Rebecca will you go with this man and she said I will go and this is one big lesson they were able to ask Rebecca's opinion they were able to treat her with respect and dignity and give her the privilege of a say not overriding her view or imposing on her but they allow her to have a say and you begin to have respect in your relationship is going to all work out pretty well all right then I'm going to continue next week with the next point. Remember, I'm talking about 20 reasons why she won't marry you. And this goes 
both ways. If you want the guy to say yes, show respect. If you want the lady to say yes, show respect. The first point that I have to lay out here now for your relationship is respect. Respect one another and your relationship will go smoothly. 20 reasons why she won't marry you. I'm Stuart Godwin Johnson and I hope to see you next time. I want to see you next week on this same station as I continue with the second reasons why she won't marry you. Learn from this. You might get a big yes the next time you propose. God bless you. You've been listening to Answers with Steve Godwin Johnson. We believe this broadcast has been a blessing to you. To reach us on WhatsApp with your questions, comments, and testimonies, send your messages to 0803-9468-290. 0803-9468-290. Answers is brought to you by the friends of Stewart Godwin Johnson and partners of In His Name Bible Church. Visit www.ihmbc.com for more info. We hope to see you same time next week.